What about the pass? The orcs have sealed the pass. Only hunters can get through now. If we're going to take you through there, first we have to make sure you are the right one. What should I do? I want you to sell this Shadow Beast skin for me. I want you to sell to Nar, the orc in front of the castle. And I want 500 gold coins for it. Where can I find Nar? Usually he stands in front of the castle. Alright, no problem. Let's just go sell that. But first let's talk I've to I've been Tom. wondering when you'd come. Why? I saw you arrive in the village and knew you'd want to cross the pass. Well, we hunters are the only ones who are allowed to enter Nordmar to hunt. We are also the only ones who can get you over the pass. Tell me about Nordmar. Hunting in Nordmar is not the same as it is here. No. The entire country is crisscrossed with deep gorges and death lurks around every corner. Oh, it's the yeah. best possible country for hunting and the most dangerous. Well, about the death lurking around every corner, that's no joke. Hell, you can accidentally run into black trolls. And if that happens, you're fucked. Well, if you're unlucky, that is. But there is also a very big portion of Nordmar where it's just a giant pit with a lake at the bottom of it. So if you fall down in there, you better hope to God there's some kind of a rock you can stand on, because there's no way in hell you're gonna teleport out of there without cheats. And you wouldn't want that to happen now, would you? Can you teach me something? I'm no teacher. I can give you a tip on where to hunt. If you want to learn something, go see Wilson. Where can I hunt here? There's a pack of wolves down in the woods. Nar will be happy to take the skins. We're gonna need to find those. I want to join you. This is how things work. You show me you can pull your weight and I won't have any objection. Agreed? What should I do for you? You know the fat desert merchant Ali? He's always bragging about an artifact he wants to sell to the orcs. Bring it to me. And how am I supposed to do that? That's your business. Ambush him. Punch him in the face a few times or steal it. What do you want with the artifact? Above all, I don't want that guy getting into the castle. If his artifact really is from Nordmar, then he stole it. I don't like thieves. Oh, he doesn't like thieves. What does he tell us? Go steal something. Come on, business. <laughs> Another fuck? Mora trying to get into the castle. Listen, I'm only saying this once. You may only enter the castle if we all agree. We all? That would be me and Mojok who guards the pass. And Nar, the guardian of the castle. Got it? Change. If you give us any trouble, that is that. Are no you entry for you. You can sleep at Flint's. There isn't much that yeah, sure. Here, have some booze. Like that, Good. I've been waiting for that. With compliments from Flint. I want to cross the pass. The pass is closed. No more on may pass. Will you give me your approval? You don't this. have it. Really? So is there anything I can do to get it? Show me that we need you. The village has problems enough. I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but I love the atmosphere of Gothic 3. Look at this. We, Flint is taking care of his shit. He's cleaning his place up. People are chopping shit around, talking with each other. Cooking food at the fireplace. Drinking. When do you ever see this in other games? I mean, I don't recall any of this in any of the Elder Scrolls games, actually. Any of that I played, which is, well, Oblivion and Skyrim, actually. But yeah, I don't recall any of that in Oblivion or Skyrim. There's probably some more that I know. Well, I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember many games where atmosphere was shitty, but I do know that Gothic 3 really knows how to do the atmosphere right. It just feels so, well, let's say comfy to be around here. So nice to be in this place, to play this fucking game. Because every time you go to a city or a village like this, you feel like uh, it's a good thing that you came here, because, well, there's always something going on. Ah, another wayfaring stranger. Are you headed for the castle as well? I hope that you carry a suitable gift. Man, he sounds fat. 
What do you mean, a gift? For the great Khan, I brought an artifact from Nordmar. It cost me a large sum of gold, but this investment will pay for itself. What kind of artifact? A stone. Those Ooh. ignorant barbarians simply left it lying around in the landscape. A stone? Well, he could have just taken a random stone from Nordmar and just call it an artifact. I mean, what do we orcs know? Nobody ever goes to Nordmar. Have you been to the castle already? No. The orcs won't let me enter. Khan is very busy. But I'm sure that it won't be much longer now. Everybody can be bought. I only need to find out what it takes to buy the orcs. Tell me about Nordmar. I was lucky that I still managed to cross the pass. Cost me three bottles of booze it did. Good thing it was only that Nordmar Rathgard. Yeah, that stuff is undrinkable. All right then, what happened in Nordmar? Well now, even wild snappers couldn't drag me there again. It is awfully cold and you lose your way all the time. That's if correct. it hadn't been for my guide, I would probably be dead now. He's also the one who sold me the artifact. He's correct about losing your way in Nordmar all the fucking time because it's ridiculous. There's, there are no actual roads in Nordmar. There are pathways which, uh, well, look more like people been going around those specific pathways. We made them by just walking around, you know. Well, I'm, I'm not sure how to explain, but it's like a pathway with naturally came to be just by going through those specific paths it's not a built pathway uh, and without a map or a guide in like in his case you're fucked you're uh, pretty good pretty much fucked in Nordmar so don't get in Nordmar without a map like seriously if you go there without a map you're just asking to get yourself fucked in the ass and let's talk to Curtis have you come to make a few pieces of gold? Yes. Or are you trying to gain the respect of the orcs? Yes. Here, you can do both. Holy I shit, am Curtis, yes. the boss of this little arena. What can I win here? Each fight will cost you 100 gold coins. If you win, you'll get 150 back. That's not a very big prize. Well, it's not a very big arena. Whatever you can take from your opponent is yours as well. One more thing. If you defeat my best fighter, I can show you a few tricks as well. I see. I want Let's to fight. fight. I will send you Goran. He should be right up your alley. What a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean duel, no magic we'll tricks, no oh, dirty tricks, just swords. And don't leave the arena. You showed him. Oh, yeah, I did. Whoa, Black Robar. I like that. I like the look of that. Goran is defeated. Not bad. Carry on like that, and you'll be a real gladiator someday. Here's your prize. Oh, I want to be a real I gladiator wanna fight. right now. Trying to strut your stuff in front of the orcs. Go enter the arena. I will send you Muff. Watch out, though. He packs a mighty punch in his right arm. Yeah, yeah, what's he gonna do? Come and get me. It's always the little guy. Yes. Oh. Don't hold back. You showed him. <laughs> He got his ass sliced. I love arenas. Was Muff the best you've got? Never mind. Maybe you're just in the wrong arena. If you want to go up against some really good fighters, you should go to the desert. It also pays better there. Here's your gold. Let's do the last fight. I want to fight. I've almost run out of people. Spike is the only one left who is willing to fight you. He can't wait to show everybody who's boss here in the ring. If that's what he wants. However, this fight will cost you 200. The winner will get 300. Okay. I want to fight against Spike. Be my guest. It's your bones that you're risking. Good luck. Come on, let's do this. Come on, come on. Come now. here. You're creeping Boom. around like a There's a fight. Bam! Don't hold back. Bam. We showed him. Man, it's been a while since I last played this game. I love Leave this game. Leave me alone. This game is great. First, of, don't you have to my first a break? All right, there's my pride, man. There's my Spike prize. is history. Well, now you beat them all. There's nothing left for you to do here. 
If you still want to be a gladiator, you will have to move on. Where's my gold? Here. 300 gold coins. Would you anything to teach? No. Okay. So we got the arena. If there's ever an arena in the town, which is most likely the case, you should get you should go to it because it gives you good reputation. Like I got 36 reputation now. Thanks to the arena mainly. Well, why don't we go visit Nara actually? Let's sell that shadow beast skin. Supply. Halt! What do you want? I heard that you want some pelts. I heard that you want some pelts. Yes. Do you have any wolf skins? I'll go check. Would you like to buy this shadow beast skin? Show me. The hunter has my respect. There is honor in this skin. Where did you get it? I am selling it for Wilson. He is a great hunter. Here you are. 400 gold coins. I'm buying it. Hey. He said 500. You trying to fleece me? The skin costs 500 gold coins. Be careful what you say. I paid you. The skin is mine. Son of a bitch. Flint sends you some booze. Flint knows what decent booze is like. Strong and clear as the eternal ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We... Good. Bring me more. Alright, he stole all of my wolf skins, so he probably wants some um, insane amount, like 25 or something. You're gonna need to check on him later, but first let's go up into the mountain. To the pass. But there's at least two ways to get into Nordmar, as far as I know. There's this pass, this is the safe way into Nordmar, because this is kinda protected and there aren't that many animals around. The other one is somewhere along the mountains. And that is a ridiculously dangerous place to be around. Halt, Mora! What's wrong? You have no business here. Turn around and go back. Mainly because that pass is also protected not by just animals, but also by golems. So, that is a bitch. I've got booze. Would you like a swig? There isn't much you can do. But your booze is good. Bah! Are you trying to poison me, Mora? Where's the stuff he brought last week? You want a different kind of booze? Yes, Mora. Nordmar Noggin Fog. A bottle for my men, and one for me. If you can rustle that up, you'll have my respect, Mora. Whoa. I'm looking for Zardis. Yeah, and? And so I have to go to Nordmar. See? Yes, and now turn around. <sighs> Just forget it. What an asshole. I want to get through here. Yes, and that's exactly why I'm standing here. To make my life more difficult? To keep Morris from being eaten. There's war in Nordmar. You would be dead in a hurry. Got it? Tell me about Nordmar. We came over the mountains to Nordmar and saw the king's troops. They were occupying the big smelter and making weapons from magic ore. It was easy to defeat them. Now the big smelter belongs to us. No Mora is allowed there. We kill any of them that get close to the smelter. That's why I can't let you go to Nordmar. Got it? There must be a way I can get to Nordmar. If you're really that stupid, then you might have a chance. What chance is that? Become a hunter. Tom and Wilson, the Mora hunters, go to Nordmar. They know how to survive. If they say you can go, I'll let you through. Alright, that's enough talking with him. Let's check out Rocco's cave actually, it's right here. And as far as I remember, there isn't much loot to be found, And but the monsters aren't even that difficult to kill. Like, look, goblins. My sword's bigger than yours! Yeah, let's slice him. This place is getting a little danky and dark, huh? Gonna need to pull out my torch. And the best part about this, like I said, because my computer is actually better, no more super lag when I pull out the torch. Thank the lord. I love it. I love this smoothness. I should have gotten this years ago, but I guess I was just too greedy to spend my money on this crap. Oh well. 
At least uh, it's a perfect kind of smoothness for such a great comeback to Gothic 3. Now let's check uh, check this place around. And it has absolutely nothing. Well, it has mushrooms. I guess. Then again, only some of the mushrooms are useful. The ones that you can pick up, mainly. Because you can make po potions out of them. It just re it does remind me actually that you can make potions out of many different things. Like health potions have four different recipes for them. Which is nice. I like that. There's so many things that are good about Gothic 3. It's so weird. Right, we got 52 reputation in fairing, so we're almost there, we're almost there. Here is Ali's artifact. You know what this is? An ancestor stone from Nordmark. You are a man of action. As far as I'm concerned, you can join us. Work out the rest with Wilson. What is an ancestor stone? The Nordmarians place them outside the cave tombs of their ancestors. It is said to appease the ghosts. Ali is nothing more than a miserable grave robber. I can take the ancestor stone to Nordmar. We'll talk about that once you're one of us. Well, actually, speaking about those ancestor stones, you can get buffs from the stones. Problem is, it involves killing skeletons, and that is very spooky. Nar has the skin. Very good. Give me the gold. Nar only gave me 400. I know. You'll never be a good skin trader, but at least you're honest. As far as I'm concerned, you can join us. Am I in now? What about Tom? I'll ask him. Do that. Yeah, might as well ask, just in case. Sure you still got okay, so we can't ask, so we'll just have to say that he has no problems. Tom has no problem with me joining you. Fine, then you're only missing one thing to make you a hunter. A successful hunt. Lurkers keep showing up on the other side of the river, near the cemetery. Gorok wants them gone. We'll go together. Let's do it! Let's get to it then. Yeah, here are the lurkers. Well, you can use the bow. I'll use my sword. In case you don't know, this is Venzel's sword. Venzel is a paladin who's currently locked up in Cape Dunn because I didn't do any of the quests from other cities yet. I'll do them later, if I really have to. Because, I mean, I've already done most of the quests. They are already recorded, so I don't really have to do them again, now do I? Yeah. But if, uh, if there's something missing, I'll do them. Now what? The lurkers are dead. Right? Deal. You're now one of us. Mojok won't stop you. Alright. Guess what? 80 reputation. We can now enter the castle. Hells yeah, man. Hells yeah. I fought in the arena. I respect that. I passed out the booze for Flint. Nordmar Nugginfog. Strong stuff. Good. I fought the lurkers. Those beasts are a nuisance. Not quite as bad as Moraz, but still obnoxious. Why not? Do I have your approval? As far as I am concerned, you may enter the castle. Talk to Nar. He will let you in. Alright. I gave them your compliments. Good. If you want to know anything about the people here, just ask. Oh, now we can ask him about the people. Oh. I need some Nordmar noggin fog. I get it. You've been to see Mojok. I'm fresh out. All gone. Where can I get the stuff? Go to Tipler, that old moonshiner. He's making the stuff in his hut in the woods, south of here. He usually drinks it by himself, but maybe you'll be lucky. It would be better if he actually managed to get some... Of that shit from Tipler. It was 